Howdy! Today we will unboxing the first 2020 convention exclusive, the holographic Iron Man Mark IV, recently released in Circuit Base Hong Kong. The package design is the classic red shell with a circular cutout showing the art reactor. As the red shell is semi-transparent, you can kind of make out the circuitry underneath. Nice. You also got the various details and the creation team uh, on the back of the box. You have the exclusive stickers in the corner and the graphics resemble Iron Man chest plate in semi-transparent, showing all the circuitry. Although it was not labeled as a die-cast series, they used the same styrofoam packing. First, let me remove the transparent art sleeve. Nice. See, it's transparent, you can see my hand. Because it's transparent, you can see the circuitry printed on the box itself. And on the side, you have Star Industry imprinted. And let me get it out. Okay, once out, you can see the title imprinted on the front of the box. Oh! You can see the figure lining neatly in the box. And this figure does look better in person than any photos or videos, as the camera cannot pick up its transparency color properly. It also comes with four extra hand shapes. There is another separate tray for the batteries, accessories, and a semi-transparent base stand. Yes, semi-transparent. I'll show you later. The figure itself is basically another Mark IV. However, this time they try for the hologram effect with the mixture of frosty transparent parts and metallic make paint for a more complex layering. Look at it. Because of its see-through plastic, you can roughly see its internal structures. Of course, you can see the circuitry and you can see the joints. It's almost like an x-ray photo and remind me of the first generation of iMac with the jelly-like transparent shell. Like all Iron Man, you can also remove the chest cover to show the circuitry and art reactor. For the transparent piece like the mask, Hot Toys also apply paint applications to highlight the details. Let me take another look. You can see on the edges, they take the time and effort to apply a gold line there. You can also find this same color treatment in other parts of this figure, like this chest piece. You can see the highlights there. Attention to details. Articulation is similar to any die cost Mark IV, as basically same design. Although this is not labeled as a die cast series, Hot Toy is used uh, die cast parts like the elbow and knee joints. They also use the gear ratchet joints in the knee to help in pose nicely. Cool. Also the waist extension just like any Iron Man for the better range of motion. You got a shoulder piece that is remo removable. And then you have the articulated fingers this time in transparent red. Cool. And one thing of note, they actually do the shoulder extension in red this time instead of the standard metallic grey. I like it. You got your flaps. And also the legs extension. And the hip cover. It's kind of tight, it's a new figure, but you get it. So you still got the superhero landing pose. 
You also get a standard hexagon base stand with an art redactor graphic up top. See right there? However, this time they use a semi-transparent black plastic instead of the standard ones. That way you can see through it and it complement the holographic design nicely. So, maybe we can get a holographic one machine later? Well, hold up. You also get the recycled shoulder missiles and forearm missiles for Mark IV. So they were painted in metallic red and transparent plastic. So this one, the missile is transparent. Let me focus a little bit. There you go. The base is a metallic red. So it's the same design. You apply it to the, you actually swap it out and plug it in the top, left, right, and bottom of your forearm. Just pop it out and pop it in. That way you got your fire up look. Nice. And it gives you something to play with. Same hand shapes as before for the repulsor firing articulate fingers and cold switch. It does light up on the head, the palms and the chest. And I do like how the blue lights leak out on his chest and forearm. Looks really nice. Like most convention exclusives, this holographic Iron Man was not meant for every collector, hence its limited production run. If you are to get only one Iron Man for your collection, this might not be the one. However, some Iron Man collectors have been paying huge dollars for this unique customized version of Holographic Iron Man. You can see the sample collection from our Singapore Iron Man fan. Besides the standard red and gold version, he also has the blue, the green, and yellow variants. Guess you can call it the unicorn for Iron Man collectors. Maybe this will not appeal to every collector, but I will give Hot Toys credit to attempt another variant on their popular Mark IV instead of just another simple repaint. Personally, I prefer this over the Neon Tech series, for I won't need any UE light setup to appreciate the figure. I also like the use of die cost parts to give this figure more heft and ease when posing. Although it might not be as heavy as uh, die cast Mark IV, but it's still quite hefty. Okay, on to things for improvement. The LED lights in the head is way, way too bright. Thus, you can try using older batteries or even two instead of three batteries to light it up. Hopefully, that will dim it down. I only use two batteries. Also, it will be nice if they can add some additional holographic accessories to complement this figure. And maybe even a holographic Tony Stark has scope. What do you guys think? So, until next unboxing, stay home, stay safe.